Namaste, my dear sweet kids. I hope, no, I do believe that you people are doing great at your homes. Okay? Yeah, you are very, very, very smart kids. So, last day, in the last videos, we studied English, alphabet, the sounds, and we did an activity from the textbook. So, today, I am here to teach you a small but interesting topic from mathematics. Okay? Are you ready? Yeah, good. And I would like to tell you one thing. When I was a kid and when I was studying in UKG, I want in my on my birthday I got a gift. And that was a big teddy bear. And that was a big teddy bear. I used to play with the teddy bear. I used to sleep with the teddy bear. I even talked with the teddy bear. He was my best friend. He was my best friend. Okay? And there was a big teddy bear. The teddy bear was very big. Do you have a big teddy bear at your home? Do you have any, any play equipment, anything, any toy which is big or tall or long? So shall we study how to see, how to describe objects based on their height, length and size? Are you ready? Okay. And I have three pencils in my hand now. Three pencils. Okay. You see this? Yeah. This pencil is long. This pencil is long, isn't it? It's a long pencil. But when I have two pencils now, tell me which one is having more length? Yeah, this is having more length. So I should say, now this pencil is longer than this one. This pencil is longer than this one. This pencil is longer than the second pencil. Now I have one more pencil in my hand. If I keep like this, now you see, this one is having the maximum height. So this is the longest. Now this pencil is the longest. Clear? When we have one pencil, I can say this, is, this pencil is long. When I have two pencils, I can say this pencil is longer than this one. But when I have three, I can say this pencil is the longest among these three pencils. Clear? Long, longer, longest. Long, longer, longest. Okay, now you can see I have three water bottles. I have three water bottles. Yeah, this bottle is tall. This bottle is tall. Okay, when I have two bottles, yeah, I can tell you this bottle is taller than this bottle. This is having more height. This is taller than this bottle. Okay, now when I keep this one here, now we have three bottles of different heights. Now, which is having the maximum height? This one. So, this is the tallest. This is the tallest clear when we have one bottle alone this is tall when we have two this is taller when he, we have three this is the tallest clear tall taller tallest okay now say this I have three plastic containers in front of me I have three plastic containers and I can tell you wow this container is a big container this is a big container okay and I have one more when I take these two of course this is bigger than this one this is bigger container than this container okay now when I keep these three I can tell you this one is the biggest this is the biggest among these three containers biggest among these three containers okay so we have studied we have studied see this long longer longest long longer longest big bigger biggest big bigger biggest tall taller tallest tall taller tallest 
clear so when we have only one object we can say it's tall or we can say it's long or even we can say it's big when we have two we have to say longer or taller or bigger when we have three we have to say or more than two we have to say longest tallest and biggest very good now in the textbook we are having an activity here tick the tallest one in the box you can see an ostrich you can see a giraffe you can see a deer which is the tallest of course which is the tallest yeah this giraffe is the tallest and when you come here you can you have an activity to color the bigger one which is a bigger balloon this is a bigger balloon you have to color it and color the longer one which is the longer chalk piece here this is a longer chalk piece so you have to color this longer chalk piece i hope you understood how to say the how to describe the objects based on their size height and length are you happy so you have to learn this by saying using more examples at your home i expect your parents also would help you to learn this okay by giving you more examples more objects from your home itself so that's all thank you we will meet again in the next video with another interesting topic till then take care bye tata -ta.